Today, we're making a pineapple 7-Up sheet cake. This is a semi-homemade cake that starts with a yellow box cake mix. It has 7-Up in the cake batter, and you are going to love this frosting. It's an egg-based custard-like frosting with pineapple and coconut. It's fantastic. Let's get started. So grab your favorite brand of yellow cake mix at the store. It doesn't matter what, just whichever is your favorite. One small box of vanilla instant pudding. The small boxes are three and a half ounces. Add in three fourths of a cup of oil and then add in four large eggs. Use a hand mixer to mix that up well. Next, pour in one and a fourth cups of 7-Up. Mix that in until it is well blended. And then once that's all blended, pour it in a cake pan. I have a nine by 13 cake pan here and I will take some cooking spray and spray it so the cake doesn't stick. Then we'll pour that right in. Take a rubber spatula to get all of that cake batter out of the bowl. This is a thinner cake batter, so it spreads by itself pretty well, but just make sure it's even all over. Bake at 350 degrees in a preheated oven for about 35 minutes or until the center of the cake springs back when you touch it. While the cake is baking, you can prepare the custard-like frosting. Grab a saucepan and put it on your stove and put in one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and then whisk that together. And then right away, you can add one whole can with juice of crushed pineapple. This is 20 ounce can. Half of a cup of melted butter and then two large eggs. Take a fork and whisk them together to mix up the yolk before you add them into the saucepan. Then turn on the heat to medium and make sure you cook and stir. You'll continue to cook and stir until this starts to thicken. The key to this cooked frosting is to make sure you stir constantly. It'll take about 15 minutes for it to cook and thicken but make sure you have it on low heat and are stirring that entire time. If you find when you make the topping that you get little pieces of egg in it, which won't happen if you keep whisking, but if you find that that's happening, let me give you a little trick. So to prevent the egg from cooking too quickly, what you do is you heat everything together except for the egg, and then take out about half of a cup of the mixture that's in your saucepan and add it to the eggs and whisk with a fork really quickly. This is called tempering eggs. And then you would take those eggs that are slightly warmed and drizzle it while whisking constantly back into the custard like frosting. So that will help if you have trouble with little pieces of egg, that should help take care of that problem. Once it's mostly thickened, you can take it off the heat and set it aside to cool just slightly. So this pineapple frosting will thicken just very slightly as it sits. While it's cooling off just a little bit, go ahead and add in half of a cup of shredded coconut and mix that in. While the cake and the frosting are still warm, go ahead and pour it over the cake. and then smooth it just a little bit. It'll kind of run down over the sides a little bit, but just make sure the top is evenly covered. Let it cool at room temperature for a little bit, and then you'll want to store this cake in the refrigerator once it's cooled. I think you'll love this cake. It's nice and light. Gives you something just a little bit different to bring to a potluck. Pineapple topping just soaks all into the cake. We like to serve the cake with a little spray of whipped topping. If you'd like, you can have little coconut on the side to sprinkle on top. I'm Julie from The Best Cake Recipes. Thanks for watching today and be sure to check back next week for another cake video.